now I'm getting ready to start my day and just thought I'd take you outside and see what it looks like. But you can see the snow's drifted and it was blowing last night because I had all that cleared off. Yep, that's the heater, my propane heater, crackling. But man, I don't care. Let it crackle all at once. It's minus two degrees outside, but the it feels like, according to the weather, minus 11 degrees outside. And I'll take this crackling heat every day of the week. And uh, got my cameras all set up to uh, do my shooting today. This is... Uh, my right camera, my left camera, and the uh, Acaso set up on a little tripod that uh, I had that I, in my GoPro pack. Now I can't find, <coughs> I can't find my GoPro. It drives me nuts. My sculpture of the uh, Indian gentleman's head ready to be worked on. Uh, Got to turn on my. Picasso. And then I've got to uh, uh, sync it with my iPhone, which I'm using right now. I think I'm going to use my iPhone to do opening shots uh, for my videos whenever uh, I can, because I it's kind of fun to have you see how my studio looks and how I'm set up and everything like that. All right, let's get busy on my clay. Can't wait. I'm not happy with this eye at all. Boy, I hate cutting this thing. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And quite honestly, I think the white background works better for this close up. So let's just redo that eye. Shall we? I think we shall. I'm going to do basically the same thing I did before. Seal the eyeball in place. There we go. Much better. That was worth doing. Now I need to put some clay in here to bring the eyeball out a little bit because I got it coming out on the other eye. And I just need a little bit of clay. First thing I'm going to do is direct his eyeball. And I'm just going to there you pencil. There. Now he's looking more towards her. At least I hope it is. Now what I'm doing is I'm working at a different angle holding it in my hand because then I can adjust it uh, accordingly. Just checking all the... It's easier to do it now than after I put it on the horse and the rider. What got me started sculpting were uh, a 
collection of Japanese ceramic sculptures of fishermen and things like that. We lived over in Guam out in the Pacific when I was about 11 years old and they had these amazing sculptures by Japanese artists. This is back in 56 so they must have been around that time that they were made or the early part of the century but the detail in all the uh, sculptures and the faces and the, the character and all this other stuff and the ceramic clay was just well it just was beyond words and that's what got me started thinking about sculpting although I didn't think I'd actually do it at that time that was I mean I was 11 years old it wasn't until I was a senior in high school that I started sculpting and that's because I couldn't throw, throw uh, ceramics or fluid on my brush and try to clean that up just a little. Don't want to get too crazy with it because the, the lighter fluid will melt the clay. A couple of books in high school I read that got me inspired to try sculpting and one was called The Agony and the Ecstasy. It was a story about Michelangelo. They made a movie about it but that movie was terrible because it only covered one chapter of the book. It didn't actually cover the book and that's the sad thing about Hollywood. They always screw things up. And it was a great story, incredibly well written. I mean, you could literally feel when he was uh, dissecting. You could feel the texture of the muscle and things like that uh, as he worked on them. And it was just an amazing book. There's another book that I read that year, too. It was called... Naked Came I, and it was a book about uh, Rodin, uh, a 19th century uh, sculptor who lived into the first part of the 20th century. Extremely, extremely talented artist. Okay, I'm going to set the head aside put him back on the body tomorrow um, I'm gonna call it quits because I gotta fix my dinner and uh, for all my friends out there in uh, YouTube land I hope you enjoyed this I this is just a small preview of uh, how I worked on this head over the last week I think it, I usually do th things like this quicker but uh, this uh, didn't work out quick. Anyway, um, it will be an instructional DVD on uh, creating a man and a woman to go with a horse, uh, how to scale them and all that stuff. And uh, I've got other DVDs right now. I've got nine DVDs. One of them I'm going to have to eliminate to replace it with the DVD I'm going to be doing on this one. This is probably going to be a two DVD set it just i just don't know how i can do it any other way all right good night everybody have a great rest of the weekend i do not work on sunday so i'll pick this up on my give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time